everybody, welcome back to the Log Cabin in the Heights. It's William Jones and Robert Dooms here today. Uh, wanted to kind of, it's getting in that kind of that May time, that June, and it's really like the engagement time. Uh, you're going to start seeing a lot of engagement pics of rings, and you know, maybe it's uh, maybe you and somebody else are looking for an engagement ring or looking for something like that. So, we just want to kind of get on here. If you have any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, Robert and I, we picked out just a few mountings and just kind of a little place to give you a little idea of what goes on into picking out an engagement ring. So we've got a few little things there. And Robert, you just kick in at any point you want to. Okay. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you get an engagement ring or you start looking at the, uh, start talking about it, you start being seeing some different pictures and that's kind of how it's brought up. We were looking at the kind of the tradition of an engagement ring started, uh, what you said in the 1400s? Yeah. Is as far uh, back as it dates to? That's whenever the first diamonds were uh, you know, yeah. brought into the picture. It was like 1477, but the engagement ring starts back with the ancient Egyptians, and they would put like uh, roots and knots and stuff on their finger, on the left ring, ring finger, because it has a vein that runs straight to the heart, and that was a... Uh, a symbol for them for love. So yeah. that's and, where it originated. And they from. use a circle because it's never ending also. So mm -hmm. kind of the sanctity of marriage that it's a never ending bond in between you and another person. So uh, like I said, it's put on the an engagement ring is specifically a ring that's, you know, meant to show marriage or an engagement. It goes on your left finger because that's the finger that or hand that's closest to your heart and like you said it also has a vein going through there. So it's a, it's a very special thing and you know always remember that it's something that's going to be worn for pretty much the rest of your life unless you trade it in or do something else to it but uh, it's something that you know it's a lot of thought goes into it and you know as guys you don't think about the, the fact that it's going to be worn every single day so not only does it have to look great but it also has to function well with your better half's lifestyle too so what do you think? You walk into Sissy's, you know, you're gonna be greeted at the door, and you just say, "I need to, uh, I want to look for engagement rings." And so, what's gonna happen after that, Robert? Man, we'll just dive into it. Um, typically, people will have pictures or a general idea of what they like because before they mm -hmm. come in, some people do a little research. Uh, I've had people come in that have done no research and they just want to get a basis of it. And this is a research coming yeah. in and looking. Um, well, that's, I mean, normal guys. Normally, an engagement ring is almost your first piece of jewelry you've ever purchased, kind mm -hmm. of a high-end piece. Uh, and I will say, 99% of people who come in with pictures don't actually purchase the ring that they have pictures of because it looks so different on your hand. Right. But uh, let's go on. Can you swap to the website over the Pinterest here? This is one of the most helpful things so that, you know, whether you're trying to get an idea of... Uh, you know what you'd like to look for engagement rings for your better half or you're trying to drop some clues pinterest is one of our best friends and then also could you click on the website real quick on sissies and this is another thing right here so these are all extremely helpful ideas if you ever get on our website we have <coughs> thousands and thousands of uh different rings on there we even have like a little ring builder you can go through there and click on different things but the number one thing is just to get some type of look and some type of an idea because when you first come in if you can swap it to this camera down here real quick this is kind of how uh, you know we look through diamonds and everything at sissies and the first thing that it's always goes to is what kind of shape of a diamond or what kind of ring you would like to look at you know there's there's a quite a bit of different uh, actual cuts of what we would call diamonds so you have your round and a round brilliant cut, you hear a lot of it, uh, is the, you hear like an ideal cut diamond. A round brilliant cut is the only cut that has a mathematical schematic on how it should be cut. And that's because it reflects a certain portion of light that comes to the top back out. So you can think of it almost like a prism or uh, a mirroring effect. And that's how you get that so much sparkle and that so much what we call scintillation and fire through it. All of the other diamonds are cut on how they come out of the rough. So uh, 
you know, depending on how they find these diamonds before they're cut, to save the most weight or to get the best cut, they use these different shapes. Now, each one of these shapes was originated normally from a royal family or some type of cutter who uh, found a spectacular piece of rough. You're going to go through anything from princess cushion. Uh, and these break down in between a few different ones. You have ones that we call kind of like brilliantiered, to where they have facets, they break up light. You get a lot of, you know, kind of that brilliance and sparkle. Like your princess, your cushion, your radiance, uh, even some of your ovals, they have a lot of these facets on them to break up light. And then you almost have kind of almost considered like a step cut or something that really shows off the clarity of the diamond. It almost gives it that frozen glass look or frozen ice look, what people refer to. That's going to be your emerald cuts, your right, asher yeah. cuts, yeah, different things like that. So there's quite a few differences in uh, what you're actually going to look through on some of these cuts. It's, as you can see, it's already kind of getting a little overwhelming. But the main thing is how you look at it and then kind of your price range to it. You know, round brilliant cuts are going to get you your most brilliance, whereas like your emerald cuts, your asher cuts, are going to show off the highest clarity of the stone. Uh, round brilliance are normally around 10 to 12 to 15 percent more than fancy cuts just because there's a little bit more waste in the cutting process. Uh, fancy cut diamonds, anything that's not around, generally is going to be you know a little bit less specifically because it saves a little bit more weight on there. But you know fancy cut diamonds, it's so important that you see these in person because each fancy cut diamond is going to look differently. No two are cut the exact same. And even on the rounds, although they're cut with a schematic, they're uh, a little bit different from each one. So, you wanna, we've gone through cuts. I guess the, another thing is, once you get an idea of, you know, what kind of cut you wanna go through, uh, what, you know, kind of style you wanna look at, there's a lot of different styles for each one to go into. And mm -hmm. I just got a couple here. And so, one of the, uh, really cool things about sissies, I'll show this in just a second, uh, is that not only can you come in and look at finished rings, and I'll show the difference in this, but you can also come in and look at mountings too. So let's look at these back on the jewelry camera here. So what you have here, we consider this finished bridal. So this ring has a center stone already set in it. Uh, a lot of these mountings are actually built around these diamonds so that, you know, this stone and this mounting are completely good to go. If this one fits your finger right now, you can wear this out of the store. Uh, normally, the only thing we have to do with these is size them. But we also have unmounted, which you can see here, we call this a mounting, and this is what the diamond would go into, and it has no center stone into it. And one of the cool things that you this allows us to really do is uh, allows you to shop in different price ranges, look at different diamonds and different designs, and really make <coughs> something that uh, is very specific to you and something that's very special. So I mean, it gives you a lot of different options. We have thousands and thousands of mountings in every store, yep. and then we have hundreds of finished bridles, so ones that are already mounted. Really good way to uh, get an idea of what you want to look at and this is a really good way to you know match something perfectly to your budget or uh, make something spectacular there and if you see a mounting that you like just because it may house a round diamond or a uh, princess cut or a marquee doesn't matter what the mounting looks like we can always fabricate that exact same mounting for a different shape so if you're in the store and you see a mounting that has a halo and it's just fit for a round but you like it for a radiant we can make that in a radiant shape to where you can uh, fit any type of center stone in there. What we would actually do is create a wax just like this. Uh, we have CAD renderings and we uh, would create a 3D model of what the ring would look like and then we could actually have a tangible wax to where you can come into the store and try it on and that way you could actually see what it would look like in real and life. When you're saying wax, go, let's check this out real quick. It's really cool. This is something that's really cool. This is actually how we make a shadow band. So if you're already looking at say like a wedding band or something. These are wax molds. And these uh, are designed on CAD or they're hand done to fit perfectly around these. But basically if we do a custom piece, we can make the, uh, to do a complete design and make it. And then you actually get to see and hold it, what it's gonna look like exactly before 
it's, it's even casted. made into metal. So a really good way to do custom. That, that way you never have to pay uh, for something you're not going to like either. And it gives you a really cool idea. A lot of times we change some things onto it. And you can always add stones to it, take yeah. stones away from it, uh, kind of reshape it, things yeah, like you that. You can get to put the stone on there and kind of see how it's going to look. But uh, it's a it's a pretty easy way to do it. But I want to get back on kind of on these mountings and what we were talking about and getting, you know, different diamonds on here. So uh, let's see. Let's actually, let's click back on the website here. So as you can see right there, uh, if you scroll through our website, you're going to see a lot of different designs. And all the, a lot of these, are, almost all these are going to be in stock. We're in Little Rock today. But uh, every single mounting is going to be a different price. So there's a couple different ways you can shop. You can either find a diamond that you like, or maybe you have a grandmother's or mother's ring diamond you want to use, and you just want to do a different mounting. Every single one of these, although they have different cut diamonds in them, can... Uh, like Robert said, be fabricated so that other diamonds can fit in there. And this is a really good example here. So say you you come in and you want to, you pick out a round, brilliant cut diamond. So, uh, you know, you're set on that. That's right in your price budget. And you just kind of want to see some different looks to it. Really cool thing to do is that if you come in, go through our uh, mounting section. And let's see here. I'm going to show you, this one is a one and a half carat, and these all come in diamond papers, so you'll be able to see, they're going to have the clarity, the color, and everything listed on there, and uh, we can pick out these mountings, and actually show them, so say, you're looking at these, you can either look at them in the pad, or um, we even try these on, it's a really good time, so if you do have Pinterest photos or anything like that. Uh, great way to check out the mounting and then see what kind of price range it's going to be in and how big the diamond's going to be in it. So this is going to be a one and a half carat. A really uh, thing you've got to note on these mountings is that the prongs, which are the things that hold the diamond, are uh, made right here so that they can, you can put the most amount of stones into it. See, if you look on this, it's got all this excess metal. And so this is just so we can have set a wider variety of stones in there. Uh, and you can set them at different heights and things. But it gives you a really good idea of actually what it's going to look like in there. You can actually try this on. And then if you don't like that one, but you're set on this stone, we put that one down. Come back over here. And before we were in a, I think this one's almost too big here. You were before looking at kind of almost like a solitaire or like a simple set stone there. Now we're going to look at a rose gold halo. And just like that, all of a sudden, oh, keep messing it up there. But we can put that stone into a rose gold halo. And this even goes, you know, we even do like remounts and things like that. So if you uh, have a mounting you don't like, or you're, you're kind of wanting to maybe reinvent something. You know, For anniversary or birthday, things like anniversaries that. Anniversaries are really big onto it. Uh, it's a really easy way to go to, but let's see here. We'll put this one back in here. So we have hundreds of these loose diamonds that you can check in different price ranges and different sizes too. So just like that, we're looking at a one and a half carat and uh, same mountings. This is going to be a one and a quarter carat mounting. We can swap these around, put them in all different things. And then a lot of these too. I, I only brought two rounds up here, but uh, you know we could put, especially in solitaire mountings, so you can put a wide variety of stones in there put any shape in it so just like that we've gone from a one and a half carat to a one and a quarter carat and you can actually see the cool thing about this too is that the one and a quarter carat actually fits in there better and so like in a halo mounting uh, something really cool like right then if we if we were looking at these you wouldn't have gone on we wouldn't have recommended the one and a half carat unless you just wanted to do it on the size, but the one and a quarter actually fits in there better. So it's going to look in there same size. It's just, mm -hmm. you know, a few thousand dollars less. And um, it really gives you a way to kind of mix and match that value in the look too. Well, I'll tell you what. So a really cool thing that we do have is that, you know, we try and make it as easy as possible. We understand that, you know, a lot of people... 
especially for engagement rings, it's your first time ever going and looking uh, at rings. And like I said, check out Pinterest, it's a great thing. But these are in every single store. So a couple of things you're gonna need to check out an engagement ring are going to be, you know, you don't have to, nice. some type of idea of what you wanna look at. Uh, you're gonna have to have signs, mm. some type of kind of like a budget to think about or how you wanna pay it, you know, whether you want to uh, look at something that's a couple thousand dollars or something that's 20 or $30,000. And then we also offer financing so we can get those settled out. But then uh, the size is the biggest thing. So a cool thing we have at Sissy's, if you can turn it on this, you can pick these up in our store. These are Sissy's Log Cabin. Uh, they're really kind of like coasters, but we made them here and it shows all the different sizes onto them. So you can actually try them on, find the exact size. And then a really cool thing, if you ever want to stop by, it's got a lot of different designs of rings on there. So you can actually see what it's going to look like on your finger which is pretty cool because like we talked about with the pictures and everything every single one of these uh, looks a little bit different on your hand than it is onto a picture from a website you really can't tell the difference between a six carat diamond and a one carat diamond on the website uh, you know from scaling and some different things like that and when it comes to sizing the best thing is is when you do get an engagement ring with us all that is complimentary yeah. And uh, we can do it right then for you. I had a guy this weekend tell me, hey, man, my family's coming in. I want an engagement ring today. It was 3 o'clock. He needed it about 5.30, so we got it done. That's the coolest thing, too, is that if you come in, if you come in and it's, what time is it right now? It is 11.15-ish. If you want to be uh, given an engagement ring at 12, you can do it. It doesn't have to be like we talked about finished bridal where it's already finished. We have um, in-house jewelers in every single store and they're unbelievable crafts when we can set it in there. And a really cool thing, and uh, let me just go through some of the mounting real quick, is that we do a lifetime guarantee on all of our all of our work that's around this diamond. So uh, basically, or one of the things that's really gotten popular in diamond uh, design recently, it's called micro pave. And micro pave are very, very small set stones around the sides on there. Now, if you don't have like a master jeweler or a lot of experience on sizing it, or if you're extremely rough on your jewelry, you can have you know issues with stones falling out or anything like that. But uh, it's because they put these tiny, tiny diamonds into these little pave set areas, and they give it all this brilliance and brightness. But uh, it's just one of those things that it could possibly fall out. So that's one of the things we always do a lifetime guarantee. If anything like that ever does happen, we replace it for you. Uh, we really take care of that piece of jewelry for the rest of your life and the rest of the time you have it. Even the rest of the time somebody else has it too. So We just need you to come in every six months. We'll uh, do a cleaning and checking on that. Mm -hmm. And then you'll get the rhodium plating, of course. And uh, if it needs to be sized, we can do it at that time too. If there's any structure integrity of it, that's missing will uh, button it up for you yeah. too. That's a big thing. I mean, a lot of people actually bring their stuff in, you know, once a week or once a month or mm -hmm. once every couple months or something. They bring in a lot more than just that six months because, I mean, it really, really gets it to look brand new every single time. But let's click on the first picture that we have listed there and just kind of go through some of these and talk about some different designs here. Now, this one is actually a cushion cut. So it's kind of a uh, elongated cushion cut, and you can see it's got a little bit of different design off of the shank there. So the shank is specifically the portion that actually goes around your finger. So we call that the shank. Now what we were talking about, that micro pave is going to be uh, the small stones that are set in the metal around the diamond. And this is gonna be a halo. If we can come back and go through onto the jewelry camera here. So this isn't that exact ring. But what we call a halo is this piece of metal that goes actually around here. And these are set in uh, set with micro pave. Also around the sides here, you can see this one actually has some mill grain and some different designs to it. Uh, really, really cool pieces. You can even see in the undercarriage there. And uh, the cool thing about these is it makes it like a work of art, 360 degrees around. Very cool. And that's a, that's going to be a marquee cut stone there too. Let's go. Do you have anything you want to show? Yeah, this right here is going to be a really beautiful fire polished diamond. If we get it on the camera there, 
Is that a fire polish? It is a fire polish. So I know y'all have been seeing all the commercials about fire polish and a lot of people have been coming in and getting them in studs and necklaces and things like that. But another great place to utilize the fire polish is your wedding set as well because it's really going to bring a little extra brilliance to your stone. Mm -hmm. uh, if you already have an existing round brilliant or a princess cut diamond that you already have in your existing set and you see the fire polish and say, hey, I may want to get my diamond fire polish. What if mine yeah. looked like that? You can. Uh, the great thing is, is you can fire polish it. If you don't like it, you can unfire polish it. But you lose like zero. Yeah, you don't lose too. any uh, any carat weight on it. What they do is they just uh, nano laser hundreds of yeah. thousands of facets and on the bottom pavilion of it for you. And the reason it, it's such a big deal, and it's almost the round brilliant cut down. And here, like we said, the ideal cut down to where it's got that certain schematic to where it kind of reflects the light perfectly out. And uh, uh, they, those facets work as prisms, so when the light comes out, you really get that color and that burst of you know fire that comes out of it. Now, uh, you know you're talking about on a normal diamond, there's only a limited certain amount of them on the top. You have some that are modified that may have you know 60 facets on the top portion of it, which give it a little bit more light. But fire polish is actually a type of engraving that goes on the top, and it gives you a few hundred thousand more times or a few hundred thousand more prisms on the top of it. So when the light comes out of it, it's 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 insane. It's like a microscopic, yeah, it's like a kaleidoscope once it comes out of there. It makes everything so brilliant. And a really cool thing about it too is that we talk about you know having to clean the stones is that they're so small that dirt and molecules can't even get inside of it. So you know if you want your uh, rings to really pop forever, that's a really good way to do it. And like Robert said, if you ever decide you don't want to do it, it's something we just have to repolish mm -hmm. off. So. Just repolish it off there. Mm -hmm. It's really great because they shine brighter longer, ultimately. Yeah. yeah, guys, so, I mean, just to recap here, once again, these things, these coasters, these ring sizers are so great. If you can come in, it makes it so easy for us to help you find the perfect ring if you have some type of idea of what you like. Or really, uh, you know, normally like when I'm working with somebody over bridal, it's mainly over the lifestyle of what that person does. So, you know, uh, there's a few different things, whether, you know, she just likes it to be as as much bling or as much fire as possible. You can go into some things with, um, like we showed with the halos or some different things in that. It's got, has more diamonds. It's going to give you a lot more bang for your buck and a lot more bling to it. Uh, somebody in the medical field right now, or say like right now somebody wearing gloves a lot, you know, something that's set a little bit lower, uh, like this marquee I showed earlier, set a little bit lower where it's not going to catch as much. Some people like their diamonds to sit up high. Some people like them to be a little bit lower. So it's kind of just a, you know overall idea of knowing that person and trying to figure out and match a ring that's going to fit perfectly to them on there. And ask her questions, guys. I mean, if, if you're excited about it, bring her in. It'll be a really good experience for y'all. You'll get to sit down. We have refreshments for you. Uh, it's a really fun time, and it makes it really special when you both sit down and get to handpick what or possibly what you could get her you yeah. know a lot of times i see guys come in by themselves and that's really great a lot of people like to pick it out themselves some people you know it's a little more it's getting more traditional mm -hmm. now that both come in and pick things out yeah, that goes directly to it i mean now you have people like you said guys who want to come in and make it a total surprise mm -hmm. you have uh some ladies who know exactly what they want right and it's going to be different because you know as as guys a lot of people don't a lot of guys don't realize how important an engagement ring is. Uh, I mean, really my wife, is. it's worn every single day. It's a representation of not only your relationship, but also the style that she likes to. Mm -hmm. And we always recommend doing diamonds because diamonds are the, the hardest material. They never scratch. Uh, and I mean, they always look great. So you know, we've, we can do different uh, engagement rings, bridal sets, and colored stones, sapphires, any, we've done them in a lot. But the main reason that diamond is so popular is because of the hardness level of the diamond. So that it's basically, you can wear it, it's the only gemstone that you can wear every single day for the rest of your life, pass it on to somebody else and they can wear it every single day. And by the third generation, it still looks the same as when you had it too. Yeah, it's in it for the longevity. And the great thing mm -hmm. is, is you'll get 
with the passing it on to your family and things, you get, you know, your lifetime guarantee on that. So even if it goes down generations and you have problems with the sizing, stones, prongs, things like that, it'll be taken care of. The appraisals, you can pass down through them as well. Once you get your first free appraisal, every other appraisal that you need to update every five years, you get that as well. So we'll really take care of you with those aspects. And, you know, if you ever wanted to pass it down, we could move those to your family mm -hmm. too. And again, we always talk about this. Just say you... Uh you're wanting to get engaged, but you know maybe he hasn't looked at rings or anything like that yet. You can always come in as the person getting the ring and look around and get an idea of what exactly you're wanting. I mean, that's what we get a lot. We get uh, you know groups of people coming in, and whether it's family or friends coming in and looking at engagement rings before uh, the guy girl whoever comes in to actually purchase that. Right, it's, it's, it's fun for them. Yeah, we get to come in. You build a wish list, you get a really good idea of how much it's going to cost, what it's going to look like on your finger. A lot of people come in with the idea of, oh, I want a half carat diamond, and then they leave with the fact that they want you know, a one and a half carat diamond. Mm -hmm. Some people come in wanting a two carat diamond and end up thinking they one carat looks better. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I said, with the pictures and things that you get, it's always so much more di so much different look on your hand than it is on pictures to it. But. And the great thing is when you come into the store, we'll get a little bit of information from you. We'll get your phone number or email, whichever is the best way to reach you. And then we actually have an extremely great camera system now that William and Molly take really wonderful pictures on. And, uh, you know, you get to really see the aspect and the, and the brilliance of the diamond through there rather than just with like a cell phone picture. Yeah. So sure, it's really sure. great. Go to the picture three here, I think. So these are some of the ones. What we do, if you ever come and pick anything out and... Uh, you want to maybe check around and send it to your friends to see if they like it or, uh, you know, maybe. So mom. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, get the approval, man. This is, you know, a, like I said, a lot of guys don't realize how big of a deal this is. And, you know, it's really something where you, you, the more special you make it and uh, you know, the more thought you put into it, it, it really makes it. Because you can give any gift, but it's the giving of the gift that makes this so special. My wife, whenever we pass the area that we were engaged, she talks about it. that's where we were engaged right there. It's a really special place to it. And as, uh, you know, at Sissy's, we talk about the Sissy's experience. That's our job. So even if you're not very good at making that uh, such a special experience or anything, let us help you do it. We can come in and help you find something that will represent her perfectly, something that you can be proud to give her and something that you'll be proud to show off for the rest of your life because, like I said, these engagement rings don't just go for, uh, they're not something you just post on Facebook once. They're something that's worn every single day, something that's going to be compared to others, and something you really want to have a story and you want it to be special every single time you talk about picking it out, every single time it's shown off. And there's a big difference in between saying, oh, yeah, I picked that ring out, uh, we got engaged in so-and-so versus, oh, man, I went and uh, I had this ring set, you know, at this height so it wouldn't get into her finger, uh, so she could, wouldn't affect her putting gloves on, that she likes to ride horses, she likes to do this, and really put some thought into it. That's what really makes these, that's what makes jewelry extraordinary. So, hope this helps, guys. Um, you know, like I said, always come in, check things out. We do, we're going to start doing some bridal shows uh, probably next month, once every other Saturday. But if you get a chance, all come by and see us, man. If you yeah. Have, if any of y'all ever have any questions, come ask for me. I'll be glad to help you. It's Robert you just want Little Rock. Basic knowledge of it, just to get your feet wet. Let us help you. Mm -hmm. We can and, do it. And we understand, too, I mean, it is very intimidating walking into a jewelry store. Oh, yeah. Or any place where you don't really have an idea of how much things cost or anything like that. That's why we put, you know, we try and get the best people and we can to kind of help out any way we can on that. So, y'all feel free to come in the store. Like I said, we're uh, practicing, you know, social distancing at the counter. We have hand sanitizer. We've got a lot of protocols in there. To not only make this uh, a great experience for you to find something that you love, but also just make it safe and fun. So come in and see us, guys. Uh, right now, we're at the Little Rock store in the Heights, Pine Bluff, Arkansas, Little Rock, Conway, Jonesboro, and Memphis. So stop by and see us. And remember, life's too short for ordinary jewelry.